So I guess we can chat a little bit about the new operators and uh, concepts that are coming to what, Groovy 2.6 with Parrot. Uh, can you explain just a few of them? Uh, so we have a ton of small improvements based uh, on AST transformations and for AST transformations itself with, with macros now. Everyone fears macros, but AST transformations are already kind of one. So we just make it a bit more easy and more suitable to use. And a few more new operators we have and, yeah. and then a completely new parser too. Yeah. Oh, Parrot. Parrot had really had been some of my hope because they had been one feature I'm waiting for seven years now. And now, as I heard, it's not part of that. So it's a pity, but I thought I wanted to have some kind of custom operators. So it, um, Daniel had experimentally implemented that some time, but then it hadn't been uh, chosen to. Is there any idea why? Could you explain that? So, uh, why is... Because the usage... Uh, the declaration was okay, but the usage was ugly. So we had to do, I think, parents or things like that, special markers to say this is a custom operator, and then it just it looked awful. <laughs> okay. and I think there are lots of, definitely lots of operators that are being implemented, and I'm, I'm kind of curious uh, how many different uses we're going to get out of them. It's already seeming like uh, you can come up with some pretty crazy groovy code that's almost all, what is it, ASCII art? <laughs> so uh, I, I think that might even get worse with, with some custom operators. Um, I agree, yes, in general, but on the other side, especially in the topics of DSL construction, it really is something I'm really, in some situations, I really wanted to have it because the um, biggest problem is that we, we could have different signs. We could do a lot with the um, command chaining, stuff like that, but there are limits. And with operators, you could get across these limits. So this would be one of the issues. But as you said, that the, the usage is not nice because it's ugly, then it's, it doesn't serve the purpose. So I completely understand. So when you get a new feature request for Groovy, then it's a question of balancing. You know? Do we take it or do we not take it? What it is for? What is the gain of it? Does it uh, increase readability or decrease? And then you have to try to imagine some combinations with other operators. You have to develop quite some fantasy there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to exactly prevent the ASCII art feature. <laughs> Graphics is nice. Yeah, <laughs> graphics is nice, but you don't want uh, your code to look so too cryptic. So, um, I, so I'm actually more. Sometimes I'm more for the longer form than the shorter form because shorter is not nicer for me. It's it always depends. I have to look at the final result, what comes out, and then decide: is it worth it putting in, or is it just confusing people? Is it a natural transition to this or, or is it something completely new that people will not get anyway and then you and does it make sense in combination with others? For uh, as an example, uh, there was a feature request to make a change. Uh, additionally have a method call if it condition. So, and I was very against introducing that because it's absolutely not in the style of the language. It's a completely different style. And that's why I was really blocking in this case. Even though I can, I know there are languages that use that and it fits perfectly there, but it just doesn't fit too groovy. But I think on the other side, for other features are really nice to have, like the um, groovy dock, uh, that you can have it from from the runtime part of view that could really help um, create a documentation for builders, for example, and for other use cases as well. I think as well can be nice in the code knock area for getting some information in the log files that you can draw out of the log files, maybe or some other things. I think they can be very creative. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> I guess I'm taking the argument from now. Um, I don't know. There's 
It's it's not trivial either because like it, when you start doing static analysis on all of these new types of uh, features, uh, we're going to have to cover a lot a lot of those cases too. And what are the best practices in uh, in, in what's okay and when some people want a feature and some people don't then that's really hard to make like standard rules for.